everybody. Thank you for coming to Circle Time today. I am so happy you're here. And today we are going to start exploring rhyming. What is rhyming? We will be doing a lot of listening. We will explore rhyming words and rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. Like pig and dig or dog and fog, or can and pan. You can hear the end sound is the same. So before we get started, let's review our give me five rules. Everyone is sitting. <clears throat> Look. Listen. about rhyming, let's start with a rhyming hello song called Willoughby Wallaby. Willoughby Wallaby Woo will say hello to you. Willoughby Wallaby woo, everyone will say hello to everyone. Hi! And our finger play today is called me. So we can start by showing 10 fingers. Ready? I have 10 little fingers and 10 little toes. Two little eyes, a mouth and a nose. Put them together and what have you got? You've got me and that's a lot. All right, so something I really love is rhyming. And I like rhyming because sometimes it does sound really silly and we can make up silly words whenever we're playing rhyming games. So our book today is called Silly Sally and we are going to read about a girl who is very silly. Remember to listen carefully for the rhyming words. Words that sound the same at the end. Silly Sally went to town, walking backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a pig a silly pig. They danced a jig. Silly Sally went to town, dancing backwards, upside down. And if you look at the rhyming words, you will also see the pattern, how they have the same letters at the end. On the way, she met a dog, a silly dog. They played leapfrog. Silly Sally went to town, leaping backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a loon, a silly loon. They sang a tune. Silly Sally went to town, singing backwards, upside down. On the way, she met a sheep, a silly sheep. They fell asleep. Now how did Sally get to town, sleeping backwards, upside down? Along came Nettie Buttercup, look, walking forwards, right side up. He tickled the pig who danced a jig. He tickled the dog 
who played Leapfrog. He tickled the loon who sang a tune. He tickled the sheep who fell asleep. He tickled Sally who woke right up. She tickled Nettie Buttercup. And that's how Sally got to town. Walking backwards upside down. Could you hear some words that sounded the same in the book? Let's take a look and find some of those words that rhyme. We can see the words pig and jig and the words dog and frog. Can you hear the rhyming? Loon and tune, they sound the same. Sheep and sleep, can you hear the eep? All right, friends, our book is finished. I would like to sing a song or actually it's a chant called Bananas Unite and then we will talk a little bit more about rhyming. We're still talking about food a little bit in April and this is one of our favorite songs or chants. So everybody ready to do the actions at home? Peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, slice bananas, slice, slice bananas, slice bananas, slice, slice bananas, mash bananas, mash, mash bananas, mash bananas, mash, mash bananas, eat bananas, eat, eat bananas, eat. Bananas, eat, eat bananas, go! Bananas, go, go, bananas, go! Bananas, go, go, bananas! Bananas unite. That is such a fun chant. All right. I'd like to show you something. In your learning bags, you should have received a rhyming book. So for the next few weeks, until the end of the school year, almost, we will be learning about rhyming and exploring many different rhyming sounds. So if you open the first page, our first rhyming word is sun. And you will have a page of pictures. And these are pictures you can cut out to paste into the book. So we're going to find a picture that rhymes with sun. And it's the first picture here, run. So I'm just going to get my scissors and glue. I'm gonna cut out the picture of run. to glue it into the book right beside sun. And there you see it, sun and run. And you could print the word run underneath families and then you will see the pattern of the word families and how they sound the same. So remember the key part about rhyming is that listening piece. It's really important to listen for the sounds and learn how they sound the same. So 
we're finished of our rhyming book for now. And everyone, our circle time is all done. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.